Hello guys and welcome to another David Zimbaletta. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing this 3 8 ratchet and I'm also going to be unboxing this impact wrench right here. So the idea here is if you're looking for something like this you're going to buy it without no battery or the charger. So what is the most efficient way of going about it to where you could save money get a little more for your money, get a charger battery and get a free tool that comes basically in the box. So let me explain this, okay? Both of these items that you're looking at, $200 total. You don't have to get them together to get a hundred, you know, $200, you know, type of price. Um, you could pick up something else. Uh, this is just happens to be what I picked up at Lowe's and I kind of thought, you know what? This is a very good deal. So what I really wanted was a three inch, 3 8 type of uh, 3 8 inch ratchet. Okay, this is what I wanted to get into tight spaces. I wanted something that's a little bit more extended. Um, if you watched my previous video um, with me buying a Milwaukee type of ratchet, then you will see I spent $450 on the tool with three batteries and a charger. And actually, one of those batteries is free. So technically, I would have spent a little bit over 500 if I would have actually paid for that battery. And in this video, I want to tell you that now I could have, you know, like one battery, one charger, two tools, and basically just pay $200. When Milwaukee was just $200 for a tool itself, did not come with a battery, did not come with a charger. So, um, so let's make a little comparison, okay, uh, versus Milwaukee. I don't have Milwaukee here, but I had it in the last video. I'll probably put it up on the screen somewhere. So first of all, both of them are brushless. The Milwaukee is brushless and this is brushless, meaning that it will actually save battery life. You could probably get two times more battery life out of the battery you have plugged in. All right, second of all, both of them have a five year warranty. So that's actually very important. Third of all, the way I see it is Cobalt and Milwaukee is on par with each other. I don't think one is better, better than another. I always liked Cobalt. I bought Cobalt, I bought Milwaukee, you know, I bought, I bought a bunch of other tools. And, you know, they're all brand name. They're all very nice tools. But one thing is for sure, I was actually very surprised when I found this one for 100 bucks because when I spent... $450 for just the ratchet and the batteries to be honest with you guys I was kind of having like deep breaths if you know what I mean I'm like just inhaling and exhaling just like you know the look of a man that's worried he didn't get a good enough deal I'm thinking you know what I like Milwaukee I looked at all the tests it seemed that it was great versus snap-on versus harbor tool and freight one but I'm thinking is there anything else out there? And if you guys are thinking the same thing, well, you came to the right video because, man, I could not sleep till 5 o'clock in the morning um, last night. Seriously, guys, like, no joke. And I went through every single video review on YouTube that I could find that could tell me anything different because I'm thinking, is it really the best deal that I got? Really? You know, I don't know because... The tool looked great, everybody says it's great, but is it really? So it's really hard to believe, even though you could tell the reviews are unbiased. So anyways, this particular ratchet here, it's also rated 55 uh, foot-pounds of torque, okay? But one thing you don't want to mistake is, this is not an impact wrench, and Milwaukee is not an impact wrench. This is a ratchet, which happens to have a 3 8 anvil on it. And this is extended reach um the one that i showed you in the previous video i know i said i'm going to look to see if one, there's one extended because i was looking for something a bit longer the milwaukee that i found for 200 it's about this long uh it you know they have <clears throat> they have many different sizes in those but the extended one was not available at home depot so I needed a tool right away, so I went ahead and grabbed the one that's for 200 and I could not get another one because what I wanted to do today is perform um, like a certain serpentine belt removal with the, you know, removal of the pulleys and swapping them out and uh, tensioner on my Mercedes Sprinter van. 
and it's very tough to get in between uh, the radiator and an engine and something like this would definitely I think work um, this remains to be seen because in this video I'm gonna try to show you guys how this can be used if it can be useful in that type of situation I am certainly hoping that it can um, but I really don't know for sure but one thing's for sure when I put a wrench on it and I try to you know remove the bolt and stuff uh, it's not happening for me it's it's really difficult so I would need to disassemble the whole entire front end just to get that done so you can kind of see that why would I do that if I could just use a proper tool for the job and it will save me a lot of time in putting something back together but anyways let's go ahead and actually open up this tool and take a look at it we will unbox this one in this video as well because I do believe that if you're gonna be buying this this is probably going to be a good fit for you but you decide yourself um, I do want to mention I don't think I need to show you this but I showed you this in a previous video um, I did buy this for myself this is not a sponsored video so it's not like it matters to me whether you buy this tool or not because it doesn't I'm making this review solely for somebody else out there just like myself you're you're not sure you're wondering is there something better and I, I want to show you that hey it might not be better but this is this is another choice it's probably about the same um, because I could see that Cobalt and Milwaukee their build quality is about the same and maybe maybe just maybe and if, if you guys know this comment in the comments below that maybe there might even be made at the same plant I don't know but that one thing's for sure Milwaukee is $200 for the tool and this one is a hundred and the specs are the same so we get a brushless type of motor we get five year warranty we get 55 foot pounds of torque and I think this is actually good so the type of trigger is here we will test in this video uh, I think it's like a variable speed so the more you press it, the more it spins um, I will provide all the specs for this tool in the description below along with the link uh, for what price you could actually get them online if you want you could use that link to buy yourself one because I'm gonna look for the best price possible like I always do if not you could just go to your local hardware store and buy this or something else that you're looking for but I will tell you guys this for sure I spent till five o'clock in the morning last night trying to find information that I'm about to give you guys I've looked at every single review out there you know I was trying to find something that's comparable to Milwaukee and I had a very hard time finding Cobalt and you know how I find this in the comment section I was looking through comments and people were writing something about Cobalt and I'm like really Cobalt I love Cobalt I've been using them ever since I was 18 years old and I went to the you know you know like Lowe's.com and I looked up Cobalt Ratchet and sure enough I've seen this one for $100 and original price I believe it was like $136 you know if I'm not mistaken the price might be fluctuating but I think because of the holidays this is so much less okay so as far as the build quality it's definitely a great type of tool um, some of the videos that I watch people said it's too big it's too you know heavy and stuff like that guys I don't know about that you know this is a tool it's like it's meant to be used to work and the way I see it is the more heavier the tool is the more heavy duty the tool is you know that's just the way I see it okay so I'm not even gonna get into the weight it's like not important to me the most important thing is can I get down and remove some bolts you know like in between a radiator and an engine if I could do that great you know can I use this in tight spots great does the battery last um, if it does great so this is going to be the weakest battery that we're gonna be testing inside of this box which is two amp hours but because it's a brushless it might actually work out just fine so let's go ahead and actually open this up really quickly I'm not gonna waste any one of your time most important thing is to share the most important information with you guys I will get back into the specs of the drill it's not the most important thing right now what is important is is everything else 
So obviously, wow, it actually comes with a drill bit. That's awesome. Uh, and it comes with like a like a hook for your belt. I like those. You might like them, you might not. For some reason, they put a bolt. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. So they put like a, like a little drill bit so you could actually install it. That's actually really nice of them. I like how, I like how they did that. So we're just going to put that in the box for now. So we have a nice nice box a uh, bag a box a bag a nice bag for this tool and i definitely like the bag it's free why would i look the gift horse in the mouth but but you know what this bag is nice i've seen somebody trying to put this tool in here because i've seen somebody actually have the same idea and they actually uh, recorded a similar type of video where they bought just these two tools. And I actually thought that video was really helpful, so I gave the person a like because that was a good idea. To try to get this, this, and this for $100. Why is that a good deal? Well, guess what? Our charger by itself is 59. This two amp hour battery is another uh, 29. So that's $100. Well, together, all of these things are $100 as well. Uh, well, the drill is on sale. Or this is like an impact type of model. So let's let's see the, the correct uh, word for it. So this is a 24 volt, uh, 24 volt max brushless. Um, basically, it says max speed, max power, max motor life, max runtime. Uh, so this is a impact driver kit. So a quarter inch impact driver kit. So this is really cool. So let's see how much battery life it came with. So we got about half battery life, okay? So basically, this is a really good deal, don't you think guys? You get an extra tool with it um, because now you could just like swap them in and out and if you want you could just swap this battery on here and I'll tell you what guys this is actually nice it does not feel um, like if the battery is like in a way or anything because this tool is actually longer it's like like some tools are this length seriously so this extra battery is just like okay extra place to grip onto if you're you know trying to do this so it's got a like a bluish type of LED on here. It's, it's actually white, but it's just because of the blue, it looks like it's bluish. So let's take a look. So this is basically going to the right. So it is like one of those that the lighter you press, the slower it is, the more. Like that, you see? And it stops immediately, look. So that's actually like really cool technology. So now we're going to twist it the other way. So this is removing bolts and this is slowly removing bolts. So it's got about like three variable speeds from what I could see. It's just like slow. Maybe four or five. <laughs> definitely, definitely nice guys. Um, next, what I want to do guys is I want to um test this in real life situation i want to torque down some bolts and i want to do the proper test for this tool because i actually have not seen one done on youtube i tried to look for one i don't know the actual rating of removing bolts with this tool but this is not an impact like i said so if it does jerk if it stops it's gonna jerk on you and stuff like that you know but you know you can hold it with two hands and stuff like that so i want to actually try to see if i could remove what i want to remove with the tool so with this type of tool here it's definitely nice i love these things um i actually have uh, a makita one it's about the same size it's also like really nice um, and I use it all the time. Uh, one thing I don't know. I know my Makita, I could actually just stick this uh, in there and it automatically inserts. 
but like with this one it it does like you see like when you when you put this in it doesn't automatically like insert so you actually have to pull it to get it in there okay with Makita you could slide in there but to pull it out you need to pull on and then you could come it out so it's not an issue to me it doesn't even matter um so like whatever you know it, it works so basically wow uh, <laughs> a speed for removing is so much faster so let's see what other modes it has um it's got it's got modes like one okay so it's actually set to mode one so there's mode two and mode three so that's actually really awesome so let's test uh, the removal speed of screws I guess or bolts that's one that's two it sounds the same on all three to me but trying to screw them in speed one that's speed two speed three and notice it stops right away as well so that's actually really cool so all of these things are brushless and you could get all this for 200 bucks what a deal Guys, if you like this video, um, please hit a like um, and let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this. Uh, would you rather get a Milwaukee? Maybe, maybe you would be using a lot of Milwaukee's and that's what you want in your bag and that's fine. Milwaukee is a great tool. Um, but what do you think for the price? Would you rather have this here, what I just have with the bag, with the, you know, with the charger and the battery for 200 or would you rather have that tool by itself for 200 that's a milwaukee i would like to see what do you guys say in the comments below because to me i think this is a heck of a lot better deal to be honest so that's actually what i want to share with you guys um do keep in mind it's the holiday season uh it's we're still in december of 2020 i don't know if this is a sale if this is permanent because this this is a this is a sale i don't know how long it's gonna last i've asked the lowe's employees um how long it's gonna last but they don't know so maybe this is gonna go back in price um but one thing i do want to point out okay if you are getting this tool from home depot uh like i'm not i'm not talking about this if you are getting a milwaukee just like this from home depot um there's a special right now you could get a two amp hour battery for free so that kind of brings the tool down to 140 dollars because of the battery and you're basically getting the same thing the only thing you're not going to be having is a charger so you're going to pay 200 dollars for a tool and the battery you're just not going to have the charger that may not be a deal breaker for you because you probably already have the charger you know, especially if you're using a lot of Milwaukee tools. Uh, and that being said, once you buy that initial charger and, you know, a couple batteries, it's not like you're going to have to buy them again for a while. There's a three-year warranty and a battery, so at least they're going to last you three years. So that means anything else you buy by Milwaukee, you'll be able to use those batteries. But I think for $200, I much rather have this, a charger, a battery, and another impact to me that seems like a better deal to me so um but there you have it guys this is my little review um and now it's time for me to go actually test it and tell you guys how this tool performs <laughs>